and we're here with Kentstown Joint Managers, Noel Walsh and Steve Laverty. Well guys, after 9 minutes in this encounter against Apoi Celtic, you must have thinking that the, the ground was going to open up and there must have been 7 or 8 goals coming from them. They raced into a 2 0 lead, penalty after 5 minutes and then 9. But your yeah, lads dug deep, they pulled one back and then he's were reduced to 10 men. And then I don't know where he's got it from, but the lads, it was like you were playing with 12, 13 men, you dug deep and uh, you didn't just come back and equalise, you just took the, took the lead and you held on to it, you battled so hard. That was, that's a turn up for the books for you, Yeah, well, I think this Kentstown team, when we're going out to play a team that we expect to win, we struggle. When we were the underdogs, and then we were definitely the underdogs after when we were down to 10 men and losing the match 2-1 at that stage. Uh, but there's great character in the lads. The, most of them are local lads. They came up through, uh, a lot of them came up through the Kenston underage and they battled and fought for each other. And in the top of half to win the match with Charlie Cullen, under 16 captain who won the first division, uh, the Premier League under 16 yesterday. And he comes out and scores the winner for the seniors today. It says a lot. He was with Dundalk under 15s. Even when he turned 16, they let him go, and he's hoping to go back in next season for the under 17s. And that's why we're giving him some game time to improve him as an individual. But you can see today, improved the Kenston team as a whole team with him on the pitch. Well, 2 0 down, and uh, you needed something special. Matthew Pouch, that free kick. He just knew where to put a Steve, didn't he? Yeah, he's a class act. Pouchy, uh, he can do it week in and week out. Uh, his father was a brilliant footballer, Joe. Pouchy, special player to us. And uh, he's got big goals over the years, and today was today was a super day for him to get the two goals and get us back into the game. And he, of course, the second goal, another goal from Matthew. Yeah, super, uh, super finish. Maybe they might say their keeper might have done better. He, I think, he claimed he was on site with the sun, but we don't care. We play again. No, we spoke Jordan the week about super sub Charlie Cullen. Yeah, he came off the bench half time. He has a bit about him, he puts himself about and he was on hand, Matthew Pouch's free kick was saved, good for, good save but he was on hand to catch in the rebound and just fire home and we did speak about this, you, you, you know he knows where the net is, don't you? Yes, and uh, if you're a neutral coming there to watch the match and you didn't know any of the players, you think he was one of our older lads because he's given their instructions, like he is, he's a great attitude and all he wants to do is play football. The biggest problem we had was keeping him on the line for as long as we could because he's only 16 and we have to protect him as a person not to get injured and we have to pick and choose when we win him on in games because some games like mightn't be suited for him, it might be too physical. He is a strong lad but he's only he's only sixteen so you have to protect him and uh, he always knows whether they're his most most time most games he plays he scores. We won the league yesterday the sixteens by beating Virginia two 0 and Charlie scored the two of them. That just sums him up. And uh, Steve You've had two big games against these these guys last year, and and you were on the wrong end of the two results. But how big is this victory here today? Um, it's a massive victory in many different ways. Um, just the we hadn't a, we had a fantastic pre-season with tough with me and Muck and this man involved with them dogs so much, and it wasn't fair on the lads. And we, the thought was just to try and get the season going and see what happens. Started off a great win against O P, then we lost two in the bounce by the odd goal. And then today we come out here and like I don't like making excuses, but we're missing a lot of force. No, no, we were down a few players here today, and when we went two 0 down after 15 minutes, I was sort of saying, right, just try and keep together and just we sort of have an excuse. But we spoke about it at half time. We said like excuses are not excuses are okay for the likes of me standing the line, but they're not. It's not fair on the players on the pitch, and we just there's something special. The boys are super out here, a special place out here, a long time, and um, they just never give up. We've the likes of Andy Vince here in centre midfield, and not just him, Ronnie Mack. Uh, rats. The whole, the whole group. There's something special about them. We mightn't have the names. They might have on paper, but we wouldn't swap anyone for anyone out here. Never. Well, guys, it's a massive three points to to push us up the table, and uh, there's no doubt that should kick us on in the season and uh, build us up for a couple of cup performances, etc., and all that. So we wish us all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.